When it was evening, he reclined at the table with the twelve. And as they were eating, he said, Truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. And they were very sorrowful and began to say to him one after another, Is it I, Lord? He answered, He who has dipped his hand in a dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that man if he had not been born. Judas who betray him answered, Is it I, Rabbi? He said to him, You have said so. So there we have it. The Reformed theology we were just talking about holds to what we call compatibilism. Per compatibilism, God can be in complete control of what is taking place, yet we are also simultaneously all held accountable for the decisions we freely make of our own accord. Don't try to understand everything before you believe. Take Augustine's advice and seek not to understand that you may believe, but believe that you may understand. Better yet, listen to Jesus and come to the scriptures like little children. This means don't disregard what you think doesn't make sense. Rather, read what is actually written, whether you can fully grasp it or not. And once you accept the truth, God will grant you understanding and peace with the truth. Jesus knew from the very beginning that he was always destined for the cross. He also knew that Judas was a devil from the beginning and destined to betray him. And yet, the Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that man if he had not been born.